All right, guys, now let's talk eye tracking. Okay, remember we are asking our students, okay? We are asking them to read, to follow lines. I'm going from left to right and top to bottom, right? But then we're asking them to look at things, but then they can't even keep their finger on an object long enough because they might look like this. They might do like this. Right? So what we want them to do is we want them to learn to track and we want their eyes to get used to tracking because we want them to learn to read and we want them to be able to see it. But how are they going to do all of those things if they can't even keep their eyes on the page? So we're going to start small. We're going to start at the very beginning. Okay, so the, here are a couple of ways that you can have your students do eye tracking. Now, number one, the younger your student or your child, the larger the object needs to be. Okay, so I wouldn't start out with a pencil or a pen or, so, or your finger even. I would start out with a baseball or a ball or something that even a nice um, fun stuffed animal. Also, if they are younger, or they may just need some extra, an extra little oomph, you can grab something that will make a sound, like a little squeaky toy, like, you know, um, the kind of stuffed animal that we might get our dog that would squeak whenever they would chew on it. So you can do that and add an auditory part to it. Look, I'm doing this. So anyway, um, you can add an auditory part to it, okay? So what you are wanting to do is be about, about a foot ish away, you know, give or take a few inches, just guesstimate. I'm not going to have you put an, a, a ruler out there to see and make sure that you're doing it properly. You know, you just don't want it right here for that reason. And you don't want it too far away because then you can't really see where they're tracking. Okay. So, and you're going to want to, when you do the, the horizontal one like this, you're going to want to, let me see if I can back up a little bit. You're going to want to do it around. Can you tell that I'm doing that around my head? You're going to want to make a, a larger arc, make it a nice even arc, and don't go like this. You don't want to go so fast. You want to go nice and slow and let their eyes keep up. Okay, if you lose them, stop there and say, go back to my finger or wh whatever you're using. Go back to the ball, go back to the stuffed animal, and you're going to keep going. And then you lose them and they, okay, come back. Now listen. You're going to want to go this way until they can't see it anymore. They might not be old enough or um, astute enough to tell you I can't see it anymore, but you'll be able to tell because you'll get over here and they're just going to be like, okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. There's nothing there. What am I supposed to look at? Okay. So, and then you're going to make your way back around to the other side. Okay. So just a nice, even, slow arc. Now the other, um, thing that you can have them do is you can have someone hold it and you can hold the object, hold your finger, the pencil, the pen, the stuffed animal, whatever it is, and have them do this. Or they do, I call it, they, not I, we call these no-nos, okay? So you're basically saying no and your eye is going to be in that one spot. So just like what I'm doing to you, okay? So you're going to, you can call those no-nos. And then you're also going to want to check the um, vertical. So this one you're going to also, now I'm going to turn sideways and show you this just a bit, but you're going to also want to do an arc. Now this is smaller, so you can see it on my screen, but you're going to want to do an arc like this, okay? So, um, and this one is going to be the same. They're going to follow it up until they lose it and down until they lose it, okay? And they're same distance away. All of the things slow when they lose it then you you say you stop there and you get them back what are you looking for what are you training for let's talk about that just real briefly so number one you're looking you are looking to make sure that they can track your finger that they can track your the object whatever it is okay so you're looking for that so number one you want to make sure that their eyes can follow where you're going can go in a nice straight line, um, can go move from left to right, top to bottom, okay? You want that. Now listen, even in adults, it's always fun to go grab a coworker or um, 
your spouse or just a friend um, and practice eye tracking with them first before you start doing it with young kids because even our adult eyes have some issues. Okay, so um, you may start going here and one of your friends may be watching and it's going to give a little stutter. Like you're going to see their eyes shake a little bit and then, and it might go this way might be better than this way. Like when you go to turn back this way, they might start, their eye might start stuttering. Um, you will see them lose their way, all kinds of fun things. Just then you will know that they need to do some eye tracking. Maybe their eyes get tired whenever they're um, looking at screens or computers or reading. Um, anyway, I say um a lot, don't I? Okay, same with going up and down. So you are looking for that. You are looking for just little eye stutters. You are looking for the ability to go smoothly and follow you. Now, of course, if you are doing it in a classroom of older students and you want to do it by them and you want them to do their, their own eye tracking, that is beautiful, possible, but it is always best for you to do some form of it first. Okay, so you get some form of idea of who's having problems with it. Does that make sense? That way um, you have just a little um, anecdotal note or something. Hey, whenever I, when I did um, horizontal April's, I stuttered when I went to the right side. I mean, just a little blurb on put the date. Okay, and then that way about a couple of weeks later, even if you are in second, third grade and they are doing their own eye tracking, track it again. Do everybody because you're going to want to watch it. Um, do everybody and then see if it has improved. See if it has helped. Now you, this won't necessarily show great growth in your um, assessments right away. Okay, I, I don't want to put that out there that this is going to create this great, awesome, amazing these great amazing results and that this is what you've got to do to, to get, you know, to bump your scores. But practically speaking, this is where it begins. This is the foundation. If your eyes do not move properly from left to right and top to bottom, they will tire out. They will not be able to stay where they are supposed to stay for any amount of time. So this is just good practice. This is kind of like the fundamentals of basketball or any other sport. You're not really going to see them do all those things that they do during practice when they are out playing the game. You're going to see pieces of it where it's perfected and where it comes with some good motor memory, right? I have this, I have this run here, right here. Anyway, I just want you to know, I realize it's like, looks like gray patches. I don't even know what that is. Um, but anyway, okay. So, um, so yeah, so this right here is just like the fundamentals of any sport. Okay. You will see their eyes moving up and down and back and forth and side to side, but it's not necessarily going to help your scores all by itself, but it is going to be foundational. Okay. Uh, have a great time doing this. Let me know if I, if you have any questions.